What is the best Minecraft item for speedrunning? There were over a thousand obtainable items in 1.16, so why can only one be the best? Well, spoiler alert, it can't. But we can take a look at the most common speedrunning used items to see which is better than others. I have four different sections of micro items that we can put together to see which one is better. Let's first start with wood, because wood is pretty useful for making tools and beds and boats and a plethora of other stuff you do need in speedrunning. But we have nothing to compare it to, so let's move on to explosives. By this, I mean stuff like respawn anchors, beds, glowstone, string, and crying obsidian. You'll need wood for the beds, and you use string for the wool. So, then we can just roll out respawn anchors, right? Not necessarily, because when you're performing a zero cycle, for example, anchors can do massive damage, since the dragon hitbox can get super close to an anchor than a bed, and you can use them to hunger reset in the nether if you're doing a no food run. Both the explosive and wood tier are really good and you need them both. One isn't necessarily better than the other, but you could say that wood is better than explosives since you make explosives with them and you need them for tools. But let's move on to minerals. They're minerals. First, you'll need to trade gold with piglins to even get most of the items I'm discussing in this video. But to even mine gold, you need an iron pickaxe. And to make an iron pickaxe, you'll need wood. You see what's happening here? You can't really compare these items, but whatever. Let's just move on to the last section. Trades. As I mentioned earlier, you can trade with piglins using gold, which is an essential part of any modern speedrun. There are four items which are the best you will get from trades. Pearls, fire resistant potions, string, and obsidian. Most of these we have mentioned, but let's talk about ender pearls. They are often regarded as the most important for a speedrun. You need them for crafting ender eyes. Obsidian is needed for building portals when you want a fast time, and fire resistance helps when killing blazes. Or when you are in lava lakes. Okay, okay, okay. We've gone over the most important items and it was a lot in such a short time. But let's try to compare these items to see which one is better. I'll start off with Ender Pearls. They're used for fast travel and entering the end. If you want to zero cycle, in runs, you'll need them or else you can't get to the dragon fast enough. This is single-handedly one of the best and most needed items in a speedrun. Of course, this is if we ignore that the other items are needed and just look at the single values. Only downside to pearls is that you take damage every time you land. They're definitely better than wood, minerals, and almost explosive items. See. They might not be needed to kill the dragon, but they do it so much faster than a sword on the bow. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I was gonna end this video kinda differently, but like, do you guys really think we would have a sub 8 minute fucking world record if Bro didn't use beds? Like, how is he gonna kill a dragon with a fucking sword on the bow? It's gonna take like so long. It's gonna take like, like it, there's no way you can do that in, in such a short time, man. Just, I don't believe you. Dead. Usually, you get <laughs> so what's the conclusion? Uh, I have no idea. Most bringing items can't really be compared since they're used in different parts of the run. But comment what you think is the best item for speedrunning. This was just a short and random video just to have something add for you guys because I'm working on bigger videos like my true 100% speedrun of my code video and other long form videos. And while you're down there, clicking the subscribe button, clicking the like, just check my description and follow my Twitch because I basically stream runs that get made into videos. There's also a Google form in the description if you guys want to submit video ideas for me. It will really help me out while I'm working on these longer videos.